All right. Honor flights are a way to remember the sacrifices our veterans have made for our country. I am joined by Tyler Corder from Finley Automotive Group and Scott Majewski from Honor Flight. Thank you both for being here. It's Thank great you. to be here. I love what Honor Flight does. Tyler, tell us why it is important to you. Well, first of all, it's Veterans Day is next week, so we're focusing on veterans. And, and uh, Honor Flight is an organization we've been involved with for a couple of years now. What they do is they take veterans, World War II, Korea, and even some Vietnam veterans that didn't really get thanked when they got done with their service. Yeah. And they're honoring them, and they fly them back to Washington, D.C., and have a great program for them, take them to the memorials and thank them for their service to our country. And so it's a really cool program. We're really happy to support it. That's why we brought Scott on to we'll talk a little bit about, they just finished a flight last week, so uh, we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, and I love it, Scott. I, I uh, know a little bit about this and have uh, met some of the folks involved before, and I love the beauty of it. It brings together veterans uh, all the way back to World War II, yes. uh, certainly Korea and, and Vietnam. Were there, in this most recent trip, the first thing that came to mind, many World War II veterans? There were about four that we took this last time. Were there really? our, our oldest one was 96 years old. Wow. Yeah. And we took all the way up to World War, uh, Vietnam veterans, probably in their early 70s. Yeah. We had 38 vets this last trip. Wow. What kind of emotions and reactions do you see from the veterans? Uh, it's very emotional for them because when they get to Baltimore, they get a welcome there. We fly into Baltimore, so they get a welcome from people that they don't know, strangers in the airport folks flying in, um, as well as military there in the area, they come out and welcome us there, as well as send us off from the airport. Um, in D.C., when we visit the memorials, uh, they get also school kids that come in and welcome them mm. and also thank them for their service. This last trip with the Vietnam veterans, yeah. it, uh, the Vietnam wall was very moving for them and very emotional for some of them. Yeah, and I think about the Vietnam veterans in particular, they were not welcomed home in the same way that if we could revisit history we would today correct and and so that has to be a, a bit of closure for them as well yes that's what we're finding even with the world war ii veterans we're finding that this um allows them to deal with some things of the past that they may have not been able to deal with after coming home um visiting with other world war ii veterans that are strangers to them but at the end of the trip are now friends and they connect and uh, even to this day we have some that still meet after uh, after the flight and go out for breakfast or go out for dinner and uh, yeah. still become friends. New like friendships, friends. Yeah. yes. And Tyler, this has to be for Finley Automotive and all, all your folks, it has to be powerful to be a small part of this, right? It's Yeah, it's really, really, uh, uh, it's touching actually. Yeah. And, and I went out and met some of the veterans that when they did their May flight before they went out in May and just to talk to some of these people who are, they're, they're just thrilled to yeah. be honored at this point. And so it, it makes us feel good to just be a part of it. Yeah, I love the whole concept. When is the next flight and how do people, if they have a veteran in their life, get involved? So the next flight will be uh, April 17th through the 19th of 2020 and we're currently, uh, we'll be taking applications. They can visit honorflightsouthernnevada.org and we have online applications or they can contact us there um, and we can send them a paper application to fill out and get back to us. Is, um, are there any restrictions or things that people should know going in as far as their application is concerned? So the one thing we don't do is we don't allow spouses to go on the flight unless, they unless they're their caretaker. Mm -hmm. This trip is about the veteran and taking them and, and showing them the memorials. But if they need to go, the spouse can go as long as they're a caretaker for the veteran. Um, other than that, there's really not many restrictions. It's a free trip for the veterans. We do fundraising and Finley Automotive Group has been a wonderful sponsor for us, and that's how we pay for the, the flights for the vets. Well, Scott, thank you for all you're doing for veterans, and Tyler, thank you, uh, as always, for all you're doing for the community and for veterans as well. Thank you. If you'd thank like you. more information on Honor Flight Southern Nevada, you can go to nah.org. I want to thank Finley Automotive, along with all of our community pride sponsors.